what's up trainers it's ash here so yeah i have two things first i know that you've been thinking about a lot of regulation edge i'm supposed to make a tier list today but i got tired saving all the pictures for the tier list because it, there's a lot of mons from paldea the kitakami decks and the uh, indigo this i got i kind of got tired <laughs> i'm sorry about that and then also I didn't actually had my cam on today because I was so stressed out thinking about teams for Regulation H that I kind of just wanted to get it over with. But anyway, this is a team that actually ranked first uh, in the July ladder and it's a very interesting Maridon team that features Iron Leaves. I also I actually saw it on Clover's channel and then saw the paste on Cybertron's channel, which is very good, I guess. And it has Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves is one of those mods that haven't seen any usage uh, because it's outclassed by a lot of mods. But since we're going to leave Regulation G behind, might as well get this team's uh, get this team's kind of go it uh give it a farewell i guess something like that uh give it a farewell we do still have three teams we have a lunala team and the Mega groudon team so there's still three before we proceed to pre-regulation age so we have first whimsicott we have moonblast tailwind light screen encore encore is a very uh dangerous thing to deal with of course uh and whimsicott has that it also had light screen to prevent uh special attacks to wipe us so there's that and tailwind we have mirai done with the choice specs terra fairy liquid drift dragon meteor volt switch dazzling gleam pretty standard mirai done set urshifu with again a standard focus sash terra water surging strikes close combat aqua jet and detect we have our leaves with work drive life orb terra normal <coughs> mainly a defensive terra i guess uh, to prevent it's a very fast iron leaves of course with leaf blade psi blade mega horn i see your really boom <laughs> and protect then you have incineroar with an adamant this is actually an offensive some somewhat offensive incineroar with flare blitz knock of u-turn fake out doesn't have the usual parting shot set that is that is what makes it an offensive set of course and it has terra ghost of course which is probably standard on incineroars at this point it might change on regulation edge actually we might go back to the safety goggles or terra gas stuff lastly we have iron hands with air fire electric seed drain punch thunder punch sword stance protect first things first it is not the usual assault with iron hands it has a sword stance to boost uh it has drain punch of course it is standard against all the mons uh, against all our uh on all iron hands i guess and then thunder punch uh which is kind of a more reliable flare uh wild charge you don't get you don't get uh recoiled on that and terra fire of course because willow wisp is a bitch yeah so excited to play this team we're starting the august regulation with the, the team that got first in the july regulation so let's go and check it out and see how it goes okay we have a ho ho, Noivern. Oregon, and Extra Drill Santa Conda. They're gonna spit. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna spit. So, and that means. Excadrill and Armstone will get going. How do we deal with this? I guess Tailwind. Without speed. Tailwind to outspeed is. We're dealt a bad hand. Then. Yes, we're right on. We can just fall switch out. Uh, 
I believe so we go here. I've been debating on using Incineroar, on using Urshifu. Maybe I will. annoying okay so it's Noivern and Ho-Oh I'm gonna force Tailwind and Bolt Switch I can't target the Ho-Oh they might protect the Ho-Oh actually honestly going Tailwind ensures that uh, we're faster the next turn with Urshifu though it doesn't bode well uh, with if they predicted it and switched into a ground type, uh, I will primarily be using, uh, I guess, her, uh, dazzling gleam, dazzling gleams, which is just not ideal. But seeing that there's three, yeah, we predicted that. We predicted that. But the problem now is, will we KO the uh, Noivern? Because Noivern is probably Sash. Yeah, it's Sash. It's fine though. It is what it is. Good. Now Iron Leaves could go in. Or Urshifu. I could break the Sash. But Urshifu pressures them, so I guess we'll go Urshifu. They go Tailwind, but we're faster, which is fine. Now we can pressure them. Go the Moonblast route. Out of water. Was there go they're gonna sand spit anyway, so I feel like it's gonna be a water. I guess not targeting the Santa Conda would be good. Yeah, it's fine. Seriously enough, they're still faster. Interesting. Dude. I think I have just Aqua Jet. And Spit, of course, goes up. Extra Drill. Extra Drill with Wood. Go in. Probably. That's the. The beauty of it, the beauty of it is that we can stall out the tail with turns. Okay, there's some stuff. Probably lost last respect stuff. I just end core. Uh tailwind ends in two turns. We can switch back. Make sure that I'm faster. Actually, a double switch is fine. I would just protect. I would just protect. It's Sash, though. Okay, here it comes. Really 
not really predicted, I guess. Oh, uh, now they're gonna get hit. I can just. I can just. Ah. Uh... Houndstone is gonna be a problem. I don't know. I can just force it. Then. Dragon strikes the whole. This ensures that. Uh, he will not die. gets KO'd. That leaves us with one. It is what it is. And the Tailwind Peter is out. We're always gonna be faster now. It's just a matter of grinding out. We don't have the tailwind. We don't have the, the electric train. I just tailwind then surging strikes you. Even if he last respects. Yeah. That is not gonna be quite enough. But since they uh shot themselves in the foot going there goes doesn't matter yeah it's actually a very good first game at the chip simple aqua jet could do do it and now iron leaves would enter the battlefield Oh, if Leaf Blade would be enough. It's a Aqua Jet. I'm gonna miss Urshifu. Considering that we would be playing without it for a year. <laughs> yeah, first win. Ali Rex. I need whims here. Here's the thing. They have fake out. They have fake out. And it doesn't really bode well for us. Landorus is gonna be there, obviously. Can I get a lead like of combination of iron leaves and incineroar? We're susceptible to sludge bombs. We're susceptible to landerus. If there's fake out, I can't stop the fake out, so. Let's see. That Landerus. Not gonna miss the Landerus. 
Okay. That's a given. U-turn, you know? Is there even a U-turn on this one? Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> uh... I hate hard switches, but sometimes it's necessary. Is light screen so Shadow Rider is basically okay. That's fine. Just end core the heck out of you if that's the case. You can keep nasty plan, nasty plotting all you want. That is also a risk because you risk flare blitzing the whimsicott, which I didn't think of at first. Is that okay? That's fine. We just encore the hell out of it. This must be blocked again. Steel does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need Tailwind now to ensure that I'm faster than Incin than. It's a U-turn, honestly. They cannot protect. Yeah, they cannot protect. It's high time we Tailwind. This is the best position for going for Tailwind. Yeah, insane. Go first. And then we can just Right on the hell out of it. It's fine. Now, Encore Encore ends in one turn. What do I want to do? Is Moon Blaster is full? And Volt Switch? Shadow Rider? <laughs> and they wasted the nasty plot, so it's fine. I can fake out you now. If this Urshifu Scarf, it's fine. That breaks the berry. And another ensign. That's probably Scarf Shifu. I see no reason why it wouldn't be Scarf Shifu. It's Sash! 
Shash. Sheesh. Sheesh, man. That does a lot of damage. I know for a fact that we're faster. I'm just gonna blast you and fake out. We might actually lose this. <coughs> Need to KO the Urshifu. Urshifu is a threat here. Could go Iron Leaf Staff. That bonks. I pierce the Shifu. Let's see what. Knock off, maybe? Clear Blitz. Uh, yeah, survive that. And I could fade away, okay. Can I Terra Normal now? Surely I can. So what is more important? Tailwind or I guess tailwind. They're just they're normal. That's a free switch in, by the way, if they do that. I do a switch back. We're faster for four turns. So we gotta be careful. No, you don't. Set up the terrain, and Cyblade should be able to deal with the fairy type guy. Uh, who's the possible uh thing at the back? Because if they have Rillaboom, they should have bought Rillaboom like a while ago. Let's just make sure that it fits. I'm still faster in Tailwind, actually. Oh, it's reasonable. Oh, it's fine. Quick wall switch. And I'm still faster. It's not like we're being slouchy. One problem that I had is probably the Mega Horn stuff. Not entirely reliable. Oh, he can't touch me. I can't touch him either. They might switch, actually. <laughs> I 
I think it's fine. Okay, shake up. Just Mega Horn. Can I get a Mega Horn hit? Come on. I'm gambling again. They did switch. Getting a KO here would do wonders for us. Because we're faster. Come on! Get the Mega Horn! Ah, shit, shizzles. The fake out. The fake out mattered. It's such a bummer. That's wrong, buddy. <laughs> We're still faster. Then the speed advantage that the terrain has is now on. Uh how fast is Iron Leaves in there? Iron Leaves is like 104. Not exactly not exactly sure. I just fall switch. This is the last turn of Tailwind right? Oh, we don't have Tailwind anymore. Have to be careful. Faster anyway. I'm scared for a bit there. But Iron Leaves did did make it work. With some help from a lot of switching. Hearing it? Do I need to switch back? No. Oh, it's fine. Win number two. Okay. Uh <laughs> This is bad. King Gambit. And the turn of this. Ordered with the leg. Good would hands would would the hands be in this position? They are a fire. I guess we could go hands plus sleeves. The Eleki is a bummer here. Because Electrowave would make sure that we're gonna get that spread. That's insanely fast. Urshifu and so I guess we'll just go for Tailwind. We could go Terra Water. Let's do that. Terra Water Tailwind. Actually ball switching into the Urshifu.
I mean... Yeah, I should have gone light screen first, I guess. This bitch. If this is explosion, this would end quick. I feel like this is explosion. I should have bought like. Yeah, it is. Iron Hands tanked it like a champ. Look at that bulk. You magnificent beast. I don't have to worry about. Uh. Where should I go anymore? Getting outsped. Unless Tornadus is. The next lot. There's your shifu. Just full switch you now. Sword stance. Okay. I can just do it the next turn, <laughs> honestly. Ah, that hurts. Will that even matter, though? Against Urshifu, maybe. Probably Eternatus at the back. Need to preserve Miraidon as much as possible. Uh, this is for a potential surging strikes. But Sludge Bomb would probably do us it. Ow! That hurts. They're punching. That leaves him with one. While we're in a favorable position. Not exactly. What do you call this? I'm not exactly confident. That's a turn of those. Alright. The side blade. But I'm expecting. I'm expecting like a Terra here. Did they Terra already? Did they Terra the Eleki even? I don't think so. Let me just sludge walk here. Ooh! Iron leaves you madman. That just one shot it. I mean, it's life orb. Iron leaves under terrain. Cyblade. That was awesome. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Uh, I played the fourth one. I lost. I got greedy. But anyway. 
This team is very good. I did see Iron Leaves one shot an Eternatus with Psyblade, which is, well, it's a given. With Life Orb plus the Psyblade on the terrain boost. Man, it's amazing to see a Bulkimon get one shot by an, by an Iron Leaves. You, you don't expect Iron Leaves to be that one shotting one. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's it, it's a surprise I guess, for me, I guess. Uh Wimsicott is a premier support with Tailwind and Light Screen stuff. Very great. We encored uh Shadow Rider getting greedy with Nasty Plot. Uh in one match. So at least I'm on the other end of the Encore stuff because all the time I, I get Encore all the time, so it, it's nice to be on the other end of the Encore stuff. Miraidon, of course. Uh, people should apologize to Miraidon for actually saying that it's bad. It won a regional. It consists. It was consistently in the tier S and A of the regulation, and surprised a lot of the, lot of, a lot of uh, people with its strength. Of course, it has its niches, it has its weaknesses, but seeing Miraidon be the top one alongside the horses is such an amazing sight to see. Urshifu, of course. I'm gonna miss Urshifu, of course. The Unseen Fist. But I'm not gonna miss the Unseen Fist. It needs to get nerfed. <laughs> but Charging Strikes, Close Combat, Akrojet, Standard Urshifu set, very strong. Uh, and maybe another Regulation. Re regulation J. I. I would probably include Urshifu back. So it's a so so thing. Iron uh, Leaves, uh, big surprise, the MVP of this. Actually, it's Maridon, but I'm gonna give Iron Leaves the props because uh, it hit a Mega Horde, which is very good with an 85 accuracy. You know how I hate uh, non accurate stuff. Very good for that. And it's surprisingly strong. Yeah, you just need support. There's a lot of. Uh, the thing with Iron Leaves is that. There's a lot of things that needs to work out for Iron Leaves to able to to be able to get going. Uh, Incineroar, yeah, the U-turn stuff, the knockoff stuff, the Flare Blade stuff. Actually, U-turn is better in certain situations where there's a clear amulet, <laughs> which I got victimized by, and those stat drop blocking uh, conditions. So you can just U-turn out of it. Next, Iron Hands. The quark drive, electric seeds, electric seed uh, variant is very strong. <laughs> yeah, able to tank uh, without a sweat, the explosion from the Regi Elegi. So I guess it's good. Yeah, so overall, we're gonna still play the Regulation G the next day. Sadly, we lost. Maybe I'll play it. Uh, I play this. Um, behind the scenes so I get to play Regulation H now but yeah this is the team if you want to use it to ladder up Regulation G before fast so that you can shift your your sights into Regulation H you might as well do it this is the team this is not my this is not my recreation this is the exact team you can uh, see it on Cybertron's channel so yeah that's gonna be it and thank you for seeing for watching and yeah wait a minute if you want your team to be featured, uh, please just hit us up. Uh, you can comment on the channel, on the videos, or you can just message our Facebook page. So yeah, thank you and see you on the next one. Bye!